Meetings October 14, 2024 at 7 o'clock. <laughs> we have the roll call, please. Donahue? Here. Cottingham? Here. Mills? Here. Trevino? Here. Alright. Pledge. Pledge. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. I'm going to ask for a motion to uh, amend the agenda so that we can swear in a trustee. And I have a motion. We got a motion by Trevino, second by Cottingham. All those in favor, aye. All those opposed, the ayes have it. All right. Scott, if you want to come forward, sir. So I'm going to read you the oath if you'll repeat it after me. by. Did that last month? Yeah, I'm going to say consensus last month. Oh, yeah. Okay. You still need to vote. You still need to vote. A motion and a second. All right. So, can we have a motion to appoint anyone by Scott, correct? Correct. Yes, Okay, so I got a motion by Cottingham to appoint Scott Gage to a trustee oh, position. Okay. Second by Trevino. All those in favor? Say aye. All those opposed? The ayes have it. All right, Scott now. Forward, please. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I do solemnly swear I do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. The Constitution of the State of Illinois. And I will faithfully discharge the duties. I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of trustee. Of the office of trustee. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Alrighty. Thank you, sir. for the approval of the minutes from last month's meeting. I'll make a motion. Got a motion by Eichen. We have a second. Second by Mills. All those in favor, aye. Aye. All those opposed, the ayes have it. Correspondence. Do you have anything? The only thing that happens is this. This is the next bill. He just gave to me. I don't have this. Okay, so we have a... An invoice that was submitted for the cutting at the cemetery uh, for $2,250. let us go ahead and add that to the bill list. Is that $2,250? $2,250, yes, ma'am. Okay. Anybody else got any correspondence? All right. That's the new um, invoice that he just gave tonight. All right. Old business. Uh, economic interest statements. Do we all have them filled out and turned into the county? Scott will have to do one. It's in your packet as well. What's that? The economic interest statement and value. 
yeah, if you can, if you want to fill those out and get it to me, I'll take them up and do them all at the same time. Okay. So Tim, you have one. Lauren, you will have one. Scott and Beth, so you should collect four of them. Lauren, huh? you yeah, already yeah. gave me yours, didn't you? Or no? Probably not. Okay, well, I'll get you another. Perfect. All right, moving on. Discussion and possible action regarding the culvert ordinance. So last month it was brought up that the one of the uh, suggestions was that the town pay for 20 foot of a culvert, um, and that was what they was going to pay for. Tabled that for everybody to go and to come back with other ideas and to see what we want to do as far as a culvert ordinance for the village. Right. The first. So. First, whatever you want. Pay for it all. So well, for, your your suggestion was the first one was on the landowner. Yes, sir. and then when it gets replaced, up to That's, twenty feet. Yeah, once okay. upgraded, I know you and Lauren had some conversation well, about that. Twenty right? foot. What I suggest. Okay. That way, everybody in town gets the same amount. Nobody gets forty or fifty. Everybody gets twenty. Anything above that, it serves. All right. What's everybody else's thoughts on that? I think it's fine. Point. There's a place right? uh, talking about the same size. I thought. Two. 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 Same kind. Yeah. What it was? Because you've already paid. I say, I say, got her at my house. All right. Whatever we put that in, we paid that. We paid that extra ten feet to the very beginning. Okay. So the town's going to put it back. But yet, if I, if I want it back the way it was, you're going to you're going to do it again. Twenty foot. Front of the that's, that's what I did on mine. I the city replaced twenty foot. I uh, put the additional eight foot at my expense. Is that was that? Did, did you have you done it twice yet? Did you do it? I, years the, ago? the original, no, the original one. The fire wore out, rusted out, and then they re found replaced it for the twenty foot section. And I had it six or eight foot to. Okay, I, but that's different than if you've already got it in place and it was paid already, for it. It was already in place when I moved there. Thirty feet. No. Twenty feet. Twenty foot. Okay, but if if you've been there for 20 years and all of a sudden it goes through and you've already paid for that other additional 10 feet and then it goes through, it should be replacing kind, not whatever. I don't think it is. Everybody's going to be treated the same at 20 foot. If you want extra, sure. I'll put extra in. They give me the 20 foot, I put extra in and I paid for it, bam, and off. Extra rock. I think I paid a $25 service fee. <coughs> I think it should be replacing kind of so, <coughs> because you've already paid for it. Mm -hmm. Well, everybody has their own thought. If you go originally, 20 foot, everybody's treated the same. Well, if you don't get... Not everybody's going to do the same as exactly. the problem, so... <coughs> Tim, what's your thought? That's what I thought we were, he was supposed to write up some, I supposedly thought that it was supposed to be the same size as the last meeting. We were supposed to be writing it up for that, for it to slip in. As far as replacing kind of, that's what I thought we could. Stud last time, right? That's what the township does, 20 foot. That one off the township. We I have to look out for the I citizens here. I realize that, and we've got to watch our budget too. We've got to forget. <laughs> Well, but there's a lot of difference between the two bids on the Park Street. You'll find out. And then we're going to have oil next year. Last, one oil the last time. Eight years ago. Right now we're talking about the culverts. Now it's going to so be stay on track, five, Jack. We're on the culverts. We're not straining. I'm trying to tell you, you got to save your money. Scott, have an opinion? I don't think I know enough about it to be able to give my honest opinion right now. So what they're discussing is if you have a culvert replaced at your house, okay. they're going, they're willing to, if you have a 30 foot culvert that you pay for that 30 foot, then the town will come in and replace only 20 foot and again you're responsible for that other 10 foot. 
these guys here are saying that if they bought that and were replacing it, you replace it in kind as to what was in there prior to. I think you have to place it in kind, myself, my opinion. So, if you got 20 foot there, if you add 20 foot and you want to go with 30, then you're going to pay for that other 10 foot at that time. But once it comes due again, it ought to be replaced in kind. Well, that's my feeling. It hasn't been done in the past. You well, that 20 work. foot and that was it. That's what we're here for. Uh, 20 yeah. foot and that was it. We did a lot of things in the past that we don't do now. Well, yeah, yeah there's a lot of things we got to do now we, didn't, we can't do I, now. I we did the past. I understand. The hard you got uh, destroyed here a couple years ago. So what you guys are asking is like each time you replace it, the, the owner is responsible for their 10 feet. Each time you replace it, right. let's, say, let's say you put, you pay for it the first time. You know, you pay for the gray area when they go to replace it. Is the owner going to pay for the additional 10 feet? Or is they're going to be on the town? Either way, the 20 foot's going to be covered. Sorry. Well, at some point, just to, by by way of explanation, at some point, if you guys can't all agree, that's fine. Somebody makes a motion that gets seconded. If a, if a majority of the board approves your plan or Jack's plan, then that's the plan that gets approved. So, and when you come to a place where you where not everybody's going to agree, that's okay. That's part of the democratic process. And it doesn't sound like you guys are both going to agree. So then somebody needs to make a motion for a specific a specific solution and to see if there's a second. I'll make a motion for the 20 foot. Got a motion for putting in 20 foot and replacing that. Do we have a second? I'll second it. Got a second. Let's roll call that. Second. Requirement to pass. Okay. Can I make a motion to? No. Mm -hmm. no. Not the way you have it on the agenda. The way you have it on the agenda. You have one motion and it, it didn't pass. You okay. want to discuss it again next month? You'll have to put it back on the agenda. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do that to be a reoccurring thing, how do you put that on the agenda? Well, in this case, if you wanted to vote on two separate items, you had to have, they'd have, they'd have to have had separate agenda so, items with specificity. But this is just a general discussion of possible action. Okay. So the motion is a second, and it failed to meet the majority. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All righty. Uh, discussion and possible action regarding the employee handbook. I know that there is some things that's still being added. Excuse me, added to that. Yeah, that is. You're asking me. Yes. Okay. Uh, discussion and possible action regarding the gas monitor. So I know two months ago. We talked about that, and then you talked to a representative down at your employment, uh, Lauren, told him what it was what it was we was looking at for, what was it, four gas or something on the price, and he said that was a, a very good quote as for that gas monitor. Jacob, do you remember what the, you have that paperwork on that gas monitor that you brought from? No, 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 I thought I gave it to you or somebody, but I'm going to check for it. It was 596 though. It was what? 596. 596? Yep. 
calibration station is 1760 for a total of 2775. And like I said, you talked to a representative where you work more and he said that was a... We get five gas yes monitors down there. They're significantly higher. But they said that uh, the four gas monitors that we used to get, they were that several years ago. So they said that if you're getting that for that price, he says that is a real good price. Okay. So what do you want to do? Jacob. Approval of the bills. On the bill list, remember there was a addition to cemetery for 2245, I believe it was. 250. 250? Okay. And the 3,000 for a mowing invoice as well. Okay, so the 3,000 is the mowing invoice that you gave us at last meeting. It's on here for approval. And then the 2250 is the one he gave us tonight. So that's for the additional mowing since the last invoice. So.
Motion by Trevino to pay the bills as presented. We have a second. Second. Second by Cottingham. Let's roll call that, please. Okay. And just to clarify, as presented with the two, with the two, two invoices. Yes. Okay. With the addition of the two invoices. I'm sorry. Financial report. Mm -hmm. And a motion by Trevino <coughs> to accept the financial report as printed. Excuse me, do we have a second? Second by Cottingham. All those in favor, aye. All those opposed, the ayes have it. <clears throat> Committee reports. Cemetery. Do we have anything for the cemetery? No, it looks really nice. You're doing a good job. Thank you. Yes, it does. Good, John. Thank you. Uh, health and safety. Anybody got anything for health and safety? None. Uh, Park Association. I see Mr. Gray. You are, Steve. Yeah. Uh, I have a couple things. Uh, the sign that we bought, or the stickers, or whatever it is, or it, it's done at at the uh, just logo line. Uh -huh. It's done there. And it is paid for. We paid you guys for it, so it's it's uh, we we paid you whether they got paid or not. I don't know, but it is done. So that's that's right. Thank you. Uh, uh, we had some uh, vandalism at the at the park. Very disheartening uh, that someone kicked in the door. We have cameras up there. Uh, Lori and Scott Hopkins have the footage, so they're looking through it, and they'll they'll find. Well, we're going to find out who did it, but we would really like for somebody to man up and say they did it. And did, because if we go after, them, we're going to, we're going to. That door is a special order door. It's eleven hundred dollars because it had to exactly fit that hole. That hole wasn't a standard size door, so we did that. So they kicked that door in. So if if they come forward, we'll do something. We'll, we'll work with them a little bit, but. It, it's pretty disheartening, you know, all the work we've done to there, and, and they didn't see that. I, I was just sick when I when I saw that. You know. 
Um, and then also we have, mm -hmm. uh, moving on, we have Trunk or Treat sometime, rather. Uh, we're going to know what they We're going to discuss that here in just a few oh, minutes. Yes, sir. And then that'll be sort of a, right. a, a, a donate. We're cooking something. I don't know. I don't have nothing to do with it yet. But that'll be a donation thing. So that. Okay. Yep. And we'll touch base with that. We're going to get that under new business here in just a couple minutes. Thank you. Is that all you got, Steve? Uh, I think. Okay. <laughs> Streets and sidewalks. Mr. Mr. Tommy stopped by the other day and he has a, uh, he got a bid from Stutz and from uh, J.P. Burns on the culvert down here on Park Street. Okay. Stutz is uh, looking at $53,000 to come in and uh, put those culvert in. And then J.P. Burns is looking for 29200 Big difference. <coughs> is that putting in plastic or is that going back with? I don't think we can get plastic this yes, size. That's the turn he rides it. They take everything off, out, gone. That's the rod. Yeah, the whole nine yards. I make a motion to take JP Burns' bid. Can you use that to What are you doing? You take that out of motor for the streets. There's plenty here for that. And we've got one more out there that hasn't turned in yet. Well, that's just for the escalating and stuff like that. We still have more scope. That's just for the escalating and stuff like that. Isn't it? No. That's culprits and all. Turnkey. Okay. That's what Brian This said. says equipment and labor to install culvert. That's it. We still have to purchase culverts. We're out there still. Culverts. Right, don't we? Culverts. Well, coming up. Coming back up. Stuff said they would blacktop it. Where he was just going to rock it. Maybe we're going to table it. Yeah, I hate to table that. We're going to be real late in the winter. We'll get it done. I don't have JP's phone number. And here I call it. Why can't we? So let's go with the consensus. If it is the culvert, the trucking, and everything for twenty nine thousand two, are we good with that? We'll make a phone call and do that, and then we can say, hey, that's for the culverts, the rock, the trucking, everything that needs to be done. We're good with that. Yes, let's do it. All right. So I got a motion by Mills to. Go with JP Burns excavating for the culvert replacement over on Park Street for twenty nine thousand two hundred. That's two twos. Right. So as long as this bid is good for the culverts and the backfill and all the work and stuff, we will go with it and we will check on that tomorrow and let everybody know we're in a consensus right now. Yes. 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 All right. I wonder if she wants. I to think it's been approved earlier. We got 
All right, Don, so we have a consensus. We are going to get a hold of uh, Jim in the morning and make sure that the 29-2 has the culverts included with the bid, and we have a consensus that we're going to go with that. We're going to do it as a motion with Jack. So just get consensus to make sure if I use it with this. I think, Beth, did you second that? Yeah, I know. Did yeah. somebody second it? Oh, yeah, but first. Okay. It's a big difference. 20,000. 22. That's probably about the price of two. That's construction. That's you. 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 So if I'm, I, let me make sure I understand it right, so that you're, I'm, you have a consensus to get a hold of J.P. Burns to get, yes. um, to confirm bid specifics. Yes. We have a motion and a second to go with this if that is a proper bid with everything. Yes. Okay, and you make the motion? Mills. Who's got the second? I mean. Thank you. Okay. All right. Sorry, guys, my pen head ran out. Um, Cottingham. Yes. I can. Yes. Mills. Yes. Trevino. Yes. And Donahue is absent. <coughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> you want to vote too? Please, <laughs> uh, Scott. Gage. Yes. Yes. Sorry, you're not free filled in on my. All right. Anything else for streets and sidewalks? All right. So we'll get that sorted out and get that taken care of in the morning. Water and sewer. Jim, uh, it's got so far the the non-working and uh, the not working for every place so far meters and that. So there's a little deep of snow uh, kind of cutting through the key up here. Uh, but, uh, I think he was going to try to. I've got back to the He was supposed to want to look at it. He got it. Basically, thought it was done, but it was had to reopen it there again. See if we see it. And then I think we got the uh, hydrant for um, corner over there, too. That's the, the one down on the right. 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 And well, they have it available on that, so um, we're going to get that one yet. We'll just see about the road, what we're actually doing for sure on that. And I can set the on it. So make sure that it's going to be. Okay, and yes, I do know um, about that down here at uh, Keating and Third Street. On our delinquent water bids, can we post that list on the door? Mm -hmm. Up front, go out here delinquent. Sure. You can post the names. Oh, sure. Hmm. I have some. Okay. Okay. What's everybody think of that? Posted. Yeah. Yes. Do you make a motion on that, or is it already been set? It's already set. We put it up. It's considered in the ordinance. We also have the authority to shut them off. Uh, Dwight, Jacob, yes. we're at maintenance, gentlemen. So what are we maintaining? Oh, water, sir. 
<laughs> water sewer, all the above? I don't know. Uh, well, I guess we just found out here yesterday we got a hydrant down here leaking across from the church. So, but, yes, fire hydrant. Yeah, fire hydrant. So, it's not right. But we're going to have to get it. We don't have any big hydrants, so we're going to have to get a couple ordered. Have one on have an extra on hand, too, because, you know, in case, some, in case somebody gets one a little night, we have nothing down here. So, I think we need to. Get a, get a couple, have her, have her around here. One's gonna have to probably go down here to fix this one down here. Uh, so, uh, I don't know, I think, I think Jacob's been flushing some hydrants around town. I think he did some of that in the last week because of breaking water just got done doing their free tote, free burn. So now you need, you need to bring all that water back in town again to get the total back up. So he's been flushing around various parts of town and everything. But he didn't flush that one. It's still leaking, so there's something else wrong with the hydrant there. So uh, sometimes it is they wear out, you know. Uh, uh, um, so with that, so we don't have none, and that's going to need a new hydrant there. Yeah, and then we need to uh, kind of have one on hand just in case. Something happens on a Friday night or Saturday or Sunday. I mean. Right. Yeah, I do. Hate to shut off three or four blocks and just because the hikers broke off, you know, or something like that for a whole weekend or something like right. that. Right. Or over a holiday or any of that kind of stuff, you know. Right. Well, I mean, I, I know we, we can, he's, got a, he's got a smaller hiker. The yeah. small, the small little post flush hiker. He's got, he's got one of those on hand, you know. But if they was in town, you don't have none. So we, I, I thought we ought to get two, one to replace this one and then. How much did they cost? Uh, you're probably looking at someplace thirty-five hundred to four thousand dollars each. Oh yeah, it all started with COVID. Yeah, used to buy the links for about two grand. Used to buy those little post items for about eight hundred dollars. Those little post items are about fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars or more. Orders. And those big ones are probably thirty-five hundred to four grand. I'm not sugarcoat, I'm just trying to take about what it is. No, no. <laughs> I was going to call two or three places to see who gets the best price on them, but you know. Uh, would that have to come out of the water? Yeah, I got it. Yes. Well, that's usually what I serve now. Well, maintenance. Well, maintenance. Well, maintenance. Well, maintenance. Two of them, can we get them cheaper? Probably not, but so I mean, I'll, I'll make a suggestion buy one and then oh, okay. six months get another one, six, eight months get another one just to have one on hand. I'm just trying to help. We don't have to do it that way. You know, something like that, maybe, you know, because they're not going to get cheaper. No, <laughs> they're not going to. 
So if we get one, now we're going to have to replace that one down here, Keating and Third Street, and then look next month and see where we sit. Well, yeah. And you know maybe buy one. Well, maybe you buy it before five months or something. Or I mean, hopefully we don't have a mishap or somebody right hits yeah. a fire well, hydrant. Or well, we if somebody hits it, hopefully you can. But if it is, our insurance will pay for it. You know, or something like that might happen too. You know. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Can you refurbish those, Dwight? Yes and no. Mm -hmm. That's all the it is, and I don't know from the date on that one. 1978. 1978. <laughs> I can't get some parts for it, but rebuild it. They tried it down there in the place. You rebuild it, and six months to a year, you got the same thing. So, because the, unless you send it into a machine shop and have it actually the guts of the machine and everything else, your your seats. Are, you know, well, you buy a whole new seat and everything comes with the kit. Okay. Yeah, the seat the, sc the screws in there where it all sits. It's, it's a seat and everything. You, you buy it all together for a whole kit. So basically, you just reuse the ninety in the barrel. So as long as there's nothing cracked on the barrel or anything <coughs> like that, you can get all the parts, seat, and everything to rebuild them. Yeah. What's that cost? Do you have any? Um, I'm getting for that one maybe eight hundred dollars, a thousand dollars. You know, probably a fourth of what a new one costs. Third, a third of what a new one costs. But you still got to have something to put in there at that time. Yeah, yeah. You can't just take it out and yeah. Well, why don't we purchase one and then buy a kit and rebuild the one? Sorry, and maybe rebuild it. That's right. I think you need to take your chance on what that rebuild. I mean, you've got the proper tools. So, out of motion? Yeah. Out of motion to purchase one. <coughs> and, uh, so, I got a motion by Cunningham to purchase a new fire hydrant and also to purchase a rebuilt kit for another. that are in town are all the same size, so it should be yeah. universal all the yeah, way around? Yeah, right. Okay. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Except, except the small ones, which <laughs> he has, yeah, we have a small one out there, you know, he's got a couple of us in the So, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll call and get the best price I can on one. Appreciate it. Okay. Anything else, gentlemen? Nope. Almost up. All right, new business. So while you're standing there, Dwight, let's go ahead and go to this one here. Discuss and possible action regarding a valve for the sewer plant. So uh, we need a new valve out there that regulates the sewage coming out of the holding sand tank. Filters, coming out of the sand filters. Okay. Going into the holding tank that you can let part of this recirculate back around again, which we've got to help with our nitrogen removal. That's why we've been with the PAE violation and we've got high nitrates. Okay, so, the wow. when was that put in? Okay. When was the sewer plant put in? 83. Okay, 83. So, you know, it's had a lot of sewage run through it. And the rebuild kit was Four grand or give or take, and then that ain't counting what we'd have to do 
getting the stuff out and putting it back together, and there, you know, there's not going to be a warranty on, the, on us re, on us putting these parts back in there for somebody to less than forty one to it. It's lasted forty years. None of us will probably ever see that. But the next time we got to replace. What was the price of the new one? What was Ten thousand something. Yeah, just a little bit over that. So the rebuild kit was close to half. So that's where I sent each of you a message letting you know that that's, I sent it to whatever number I have for you. Um, then get with me afterwards. Um, in regards to that, because that's something we're going to have to replace, because like White said, that's where we get some of our high ratings. It goes to the EPA and this, that, and the other. And Right now, we're showing that we're making progress. Uh, we can't have them come down, and then we don't have a valve that's working. And it splits. It's like a three-way valve. It just it's a three-way plug valve. You can, you know, you can you can cheat it part way, so so much goes this way, and so much goes that way, and that way you you're, you what 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 you bypass circulates back around and come back in the holding tank and go back out again to the sand filters and try to get your nitrogen in there. And, you know, one month if your stuff's going up, well, you open it a little bit more. Or you close it a little bit more. It's all according to what you do to do it here. So, I mean, we're adjusting every month until here, a couple months ago, when it, 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 the nuts broke off, adjusted the thing, and then he went down and tried to do it, and then the, the whole nut on top of it all corroded away. It's like, okay, what are we going to do now? Okay, that's, that's the thing, though. If your thing is still deteriorated that much right now, what, what's it going to be when we get into it? We, we hold off on it and we get a rebuild kit for it, but after we get into it, everything disintegrates just as soon as you touch it. If it's, no, that's why I said about getting the new one. Just yeah, forget, I, forget I that old one. You know, like I said, it's 41 years you've had a sewage run through it. Yeah. Well, once you get it out, you can look at it better and see see if you think you can't get a rebuild and, and see what it does. But I would I would say putting it in right off the bat. Looks like we've got the money. Yep. Got a motion. Well, yeah. got a motion to buy the new valve at the sewer plant. It's somewhere in the neighborhood of 10,000 something. Did I, did I send you that paper? Did I send that to you, the paper to you? Okay. You might have sent it to Jacob, you may have it. Okay. I don't know where it is. Cottingham. We have a second. Second. Second by Trevino. Donahue's absent. Cottingham? Yes. Hyken? Yes. Uh, Gage? Yes. Mills? Yes. Trevino? Yes. righty. Thank you, Dwight. Okay. I think we're done with you now. If you want to go home or really? if you want to right. <laughs> stick <Yeah>. around. <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice, gentlemen. Please. Okay. Thank you, Dwight. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. All right, so discussion and possible action regarding trick or treating time and date. So, we, last month we set it for October the 30th, I believe, and it set it from 6 to 8. I was at the firehouse and there was some discussion to see if maybe we could do it 6 to 8 30. Add a half an hour on to the back of it. Steve, wasn't wasn't there something saying that you guys were going to have it like earlier than that? Maybe the park? Oh, I I I, I, I didn't. Know. Let me see if I can't find it. It's it's probably on there someplace. Uh, I have nothing. Yeah, there's no service in here. Yeah, he wasn't here at the last meeting. 
Yes. <laughs> I think last week we agreed to open park. Where was it posted? It was posted, but I don't have nothing right now. So on, I on Spotlight and Ship? I think it's in Spotlight. I think Lori Frank is the one that posted it, but I was thinking it was earlier than that until 8 o'clock. Because I think it says about the costume mm -hmm. there. Judging or something like that. Treat. Uh, they have it posted for October 26th from 4 to 8. That they're going to do, I guess. So your the plan wasn't to go with the shipments trick or treating. It's something completely separate. From October 24 or excuse me, 26th, 4 to 8 is trunk or treat at the park. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, they posted, they posted that, but it says trick or treat. They're all invited to trick or treat October 26, 48 costume contest, best trunk contest, Elm Street in front of Medora Intermediate School. So that's not here. That's Medora. That's Medora. Right. Um, I saw team has something about spooky skate. Focus Pocus paint event, but I'm not seeing anything about the Trump or Trump ship. Well, I'll make sure that they get it all posted and all be on Facebook. And that's the best way to send it. Right, because if it's on there, it's the honest to God. It's true. It's <laughs> Okay, I think I found it. Yeah, it's a 16 Okay, I think I found it. September, or sorry, mark your calendars. Trunk or treat will take place on Wednesday, October 30th at Shipman Area Park. Um, several businesses set up last year. Thank you. Um, and would love to extend the invitation to all businesses and community. Grab your spots. Let's surround the park with trunks filled with goodies, lose your inhibitions by dressing up as your favorite character. Prizes for adults and costume winners will be named. Chili, cheese, and crackers, crackers along with hot chocolate will be served. Um, that's Wednesday, October 30th from 6 to 8 at Shipman Area Park. And the Lutheran Church is doing something as well. Four days, same yeah. 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 yeah, so it's all... We're all there together. <laughs> So can we add 30 minutes to the end of it? We'll be there anyway, so. That's a nice well. All right, so, all right, we need a motion because we didn't have a motion last month. Okay, motion to add 30 minutes. We got a motion to do trigger treating from 6 to 8.30. Two houses with your porch lights. I'll second it. Uh, all right, all those in favor, aye. aye. All those opposed, the ayes have it. All right, uh, discussion of possible action regarding the drainage tile at DeBazier's uh, house over here on uh, Short Street. Or, yeah. So Jacob went over there. I know uh, when Corby was on here, we had some issues with that. Got a hole opened up. That's that uh, clay tile that's running down through there and where it is eroding and sinking in, uh, there is one or two pieces of that clay tile that is cracked. <laughs> so I don't know if you can get that still because it's kind of, I don't know, about two foot, maybe in diameter, uh, in two or three foot sections to replace that, or do we just see about putting a piece of pipe in there and running it to the creek because it's the drain or the <coughs> drain that comes under from the park and comes down and goes down to the creek. 
but there is a concrete box up there by Corby's fence where it comes in and then that uh, culvert starts there and then runs across uh, DeVazier property down to the creek. That's not all Kirby at all. You told me. No, it's just outside I mean, his house. You don't want to put it across the yard. So. What he thought was he thought he had a plastic bill, maybe bag of a tree ground. Seal that pretty cheap and get out of there. Not tear him off like that. That's what he thought I'd ever have to move. I don't know. Jacob! Yeah. The uh, the drainage tile at DeVazier's. Yeah. Fill us in on that, would you? Two foot section of the clay tile for the inside, going to take like 14 inches, probably two inches, two foot. The new wall, the tile that I got from Paul Hayes for uh, the river fence. It's the same size on the inside. We just cut it far enough for it to pass the clay tiles that are good and put concrete around it, and that way. Okay. So you've got the you've got a piece of tile to put in there, and you just need quick creep then to. Okay. Sound good. Okay. Get that. We'll do that. Yes, sir. All righty. Anybody have anything? Do we have a need for an executive session? All right. We're going to go to public comments. Under public comments, each person is going to get three minutes to speak. Once your time's up, we'll move to the next person. John? Nothing? Michelle? Jason? Yeah, I think I got a little water pressure over where I'm at. I go down to the water pressure center to the hot uh, uh, water tank. I had Jacob come over the other day. I take my garden hose and if my storage over to that center of all cheers. I don't know what's going on with it. I ain't got my water leaks because it's all brand new stuff before the water line. Okay. I live over close to the church. So did this just happen? Did you just notice it or? Yeah. Okay. What do you use the power washer? <laughs> you can't even run the power washer. Okay. They should keep up with the power washer, you know. You just right. no, no, not use no water anywhere else and just coming out of the garden hose. So, okay. I don't know what's going on with it. Okay. I know I don't have no water leak. Okay. Oh. We'll, uh, we'll check into it and see. I don't want to bubble all the water lines out of the ground, you know, but uh, I should have more water pressure, I think, before I got it. Sure. Does he, does he, does he, Jacob, come over and put a gauge on and see what you actually got on your outside? Well, he put a little old gauge here on the garden hose, did it run up to 40 pounds, but you, you can take that gauge over for it, it'll pour about far beer that. That ain't, that isn't 40 pounds. No. But when I didn't put it on the hose, I put it on the stick itself. Okay. Jacob, check into that uh, and see if maybe you can try that somewhere else and see what kind of pressure there is. I ain't grabbing, I just think it should have more pressure than what I know. No, I agree. No. <clears throat> so I'll have you check it a couple other places and see. I can do that. Okay. Anything else, bud? Yeah, you know, I live over by that church, yeah. you know. Yeah, you just know where the water tower. Uh, is that where that far, far hydrant's leaking at? No, it's leaking down Keating oh, Street okay. here. Okay. Steve, do you have anything else? No. Marty? No. Donella? No. Diane? Mm -hmm. Who's behind? I can't see who's behind you guys. Sharon. Sharon. Sharon? <laughs> My only question is, um, I know that two people that has turned in applications to be on the board 
And I'd like to know how you assume who gets voted in and who don't. I mean, is that is it up to you or is it up to everybody on the board? Just I, you? It is, yes. Well, then how come back in the days it wasn't like that? The statute, the statute gives the mayor the authority to, to appoint. And then so how come he gets to pick a who gets? That's the way the statute's written. You're welcome to look at it if you'd like. I don't know. Not when Mayor Krause was in, it wasn't like that. Okay. Yeah, Nobody's saying it was. It wasn't that way. Then. I'm just telling you that's what the statute says. That's true. So, Beth, do you have anything to do with it? I'm the only one that's been voted on by the that's public. Right. She's the only one on the county. She's the only one the county. So, do you know every time he puts somebody on here? No. So, is that is that right? Actually, he hasn't voted. No. He, Apparently he doesn't have my number because I wasn't in the group text of the ten thousand dollars. Well, I know two people that got just pushed in a notebook and not was even considered, and it's kind of lopsided here now. And you can tell these are either the yes those or those are the no votes. So it's not each year. Yeah. Angie, you got anything? Pam. Yeah, I live next to Mr. Jordan. My water pressure sucks as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sharon, is, is your mom lives right across the street? What's her water pressure like? Is it just that whole area? Hers is fine. Mm -hmm. Jason Cole also has sucky water pressure. What's that? Pam? Jacob, wasn't you out there today? Yep. And they have 52 pounds of pressure? Two has spigot, one pair, two is water, you got four different pairs. So my water, what do you mean? I have a high efficiency washer and my washer shuts off. That's how low my water pressure is. Where's my washer up? I'm not going to get the Anything else? No. Carl? No. Alex? Carl, thank you. Alex. All right. Anybody else got anything? Eddie's back there. Eddie? Hi. <laughs> All right. Got a motion to adjourn. Got a motion by Cottingham. Got a second? Second by Trevino. All those in favor, aye. All those opposed, the ayes have it. Thank you, guys. Yes.